Well, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope it was good for everybody. I'm uh, I'm sat in my caravan at the minute. Um, I haven't brought myself to part with it. Uh, I don't know why. I've had so much fun in caravanning for the last 25 years with the kids growing up. Uh, I thought they might have grown up and bought their own, but they're still thinking about it, although they're in the 30s now. Um, in my 20s, I was taking them all over Europe. I'll show you later on in the video a few of the places I've been to um, caravanning. I, I've gone over the uh, Dover Cali, turned left to a town called Gravelines, camped up there for a week while we toured Belgium, toured Paris. I've done uh, another trip. We've stayed at Lee Isle Dam near Paris, and uh, I think we toured the World War One battle sites. Uh, I've gone Sheerberg, Portsmouth to Sheerberg, uh, Portsmouth to Cannes. Portsmouth to Cannes is better, by the way. If you're going over to France and you're going that way, go Portsmouth to Cannes because it's next to the, like a big A roads, if you will, rather than Sheerberg, which is winding country roads till you get to anywhere. Uh, but Portsmouth to Cannes, Cannes is the beginning of the world, Second World War invasion beaches. And Cannes has the biggest... Uh, like lookout tower the Germans built looking out to sea and uh, that's the Overlord route so all the way down from Cannes all the way down to St Mary Glace that's all five invasion beaches uh, and it's just called I think it's called the Overlord route and you just follow it all the way down and we ended up all the way down there to, and we stayed near Mont Saint Michel and I'll show you a few pictures of where we've, where we've toured anyway in, in caravans so this is why in my caravan, I haven't brought myself to part with it. This is my caravan. I've, uh, I don't know if I can show you around there how, how big it is. But you can see where I'm sat now, uh, the type of layout. I'm trying to do this on my phone rather than my camera. Uh, this is like a little living room at the front, if you will. And that's the reason why I bought the camper I did, because it has like a living room at the back rather than something in the middle and then your bed at the back. Uh, it does go into a bed, a double bed at the back, well probably a three or four person bed. I've had two adults and two grandkids on that bed in the back of the camper. And then you've got the pull down one at the front. But uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you in a bit the main reason I chose a motorhome. I'm 50 now, so th there's a reason why at 50 I decided that I would move on from caravanning. Although I've loved caravanning all my life and it's, it's just a, a way of hook it up and away you go. You, you, you're gone, you're on a holiday. And you're on a holiday for the cheapest amount of money. Um, so, so yeah, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the front of the motor, the back of the motor, and you'll realise it, it, it's the same layout as this caravan, essentially. You know, uh, I don't know if I can turn it around that way. There, it's got cooker sink, everything over there. That's not a fixed double bed. That's actually like two settees, if you will, that you put into a bed. But we just leave it as a bed. Kids being kids, when they have a row with the partners, they come and stop it. Kind of. It's probably why we haven't got rid of it yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, so just really, I just wanted to wish you a happy new year and just get a video out there. And just, but if, if anybody's any questions, if touring Europe or going like on a ferry or, or, or where to go in in France, I can't say about anywhere else. I have driven uh, from where I live. I've been to Luxembourg and uh, th back through Belgium, so into France, Luxembourg, back through Belgium, and then back this way. And then I've driven from here to France, kids have toured Disney World. Um, we've been, uh, obviously, all World War I battle sites, Normandy, Mont Saint-Michel. I've never explored any further into, into France, if you will, only f from Paris and then the invasion beaches and down to Mont Saint-Michel. I think we stayed, what was the town we went through? No, it's gone from, I can't remember. But we went through this quaint little town. I think Mary Queen of Scots is reported to be from there. Uh, no, I can't remember. It's gone from a bit anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you something in the van. And then uh, you'll see why I progressed to a motorhome. This is a simple reason, and I'll explain it in a bit. It's an easy reason why I had to I didn't have to, but I, just, I felt like the time was right. So I... Uh, I'll, I'll see you in a bit and I'll, uh, I'll be in my motorhome. See you shortly. So that's the layout of the motorhome at the back. So you can see it's not that much different than the caravan I've got. It's, uh, it's just like having a, a living room. You've got the back of the van. It's, it's, 
just nice and comfortable and you know you don't realise that you're in a van to be fair you don't realise it's a motorhome it's just you know same as the caravan um, it was just to let you know what, why I moved from a caravan to a camper and it was mainly my age I'm 50 years of age and I just cannot be bothered anymore to back a car up to my caravan which you know, was a 4 before at the time because it is a big big caravan um, hook it all up get to a site back it all up put the legs down get the water it's, it's just that much of a faff at my age I just can't be bothered anymore and uh, sticking toy mirrors on and the van it's just a case of getting in and going or well, that was what we thought until obviously I, my mother how, how she is she's a beautiful woman but she's uh, well she would be she's my mother uh, obviously there's, there's certain realities in life that you've got to deal with so but yeah I'll try and make videos whenever I can showing you different aspects of, of owning a motor and what you can do with it because when I bought this there was a 10 day gap between paying for it and picking it up so in that 10 days it's had to have an MOT, it's had a habitation check, they've sorted a few problems out it's had so in that 10 day period I was on YouTube constantly where to go, what to do, how does stuff work uh, you know, I had a basic idea of it, having a caravan, it, it helps, but uh, having a motor on it's totally different than a caravan, but a lot of the things, the cookers are the same, just, you know, the electrics are the same, the hookups are the same, uh, but there's certain things I wanted to know, and I thought, you know, when I look, first looked around this, this van, I, th I thought, well, how does that work, how does the heating work, electrics, and, you know, step works, and all, all everything, so for 10 days, I was going on YouTube, trying to find information, probably geeing me up to go on holiday, uh, but and I couldn't find there isn't there wasn't that much out there then. Then obviously I, there's, there's a few motorhome uh, YouTubers that have come on since then, which are interesting and I watch them. I watch other things. Uh, I'm interested in getting a drone that can, you know, do aerial photography with. I, I've always liked camera work uh, and, and video, you know, videos. So I've always been interested. I mean now I can edit them on my on my laptop, it's, what it does for me personally, it stops me going mental because the things I'm doing in my life, I just need something to take my mind off it. And looking at that camera and talking to you and editing on a, on a laptop for a couple of hours afterwards, and then trying to upload it to YouTube with the slowest internet you've, you ever wished you, you could have, it takes about an hour and a half for a 10 minute video. It's unbelievable. You've got to keep turning the Wi Fi off, turn it back on. Watching stuff on YouTube is fine, it's when you try and upload anything. Anyway, like anything, the post office, which is the broadband we've got, they're getting round to it. They'll sort it out, which they've been sorting it out for months, but anyway. Uh, but the, the main reason we went for a motor on was just purely because of mine and my wife's age now. And towing a caravan, I'll show you, you'll, you'll have seen the pictures uh, of where we've been in a caravan. I mean, it's been good to us caravanning. Uh, I'm full of flu at the minute, but uh, we're getting there. And uh, so hopefully I'll bring you some more videos of what was actually going away. When we first got the van, we drove from where we live, which is near the Lake District, up to Loch Lomond. And on one of the videos you'll see Loch Lomond. We went from Loch Lomond to Edinburgh through Livingstone. I think it's the M8. Uh, you go through Livingstone. We parked up in Livingstone. I think it was an Asda we parked up at and spent the day at, at uh, Livingstone. Then we got on to Edinburgh. We did find a site in Edinburgh that was next to the coast that you could stop. But a lot of lads started playing football there and there's a lot of caravans that looked like a lot of workmen were staying in them and I thought, we're not stopping here. Anyway, we went, we, we went to Edinburgh and we managed to park where the big wheel is in Edinburgh, if you've ever been. We were parked less than quarter of a mile from that, that big wheel on the same road. So we stayed there, we toured Edinburgh. Phone's ringing. Bear with me. Hello? Yeah, speaking mate. So I forgot where I was. Um, probably my age now. 50, you forget things. Um, I know I was talking about obviously why we've gone from a caravan to a motor. It's it just a towing, a towing of, the, of the caravan that was the problem. Um, but uh, yeah, I could uh, I, I could play, the, play it back and find out where I was up to. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, I'm not a professional cameraman. I, I don't try and pretend to be. I just do it for a bit of fun, and I hope you get some information out of it. And uh, I, what I wanted information really is is why I started to put videos on YouTube. Uh, when I first bought this van, I, obviously I've told you I wanted to know how everything worked, and I, I didn't find that much out really, to be fair. 
but I, I will put some more videos out uh, using the caravan levelling and uh, well, motorhome levelling and uh, things like how, what I do with my water, my TV's down there um, obviously I, I've got an inverter that goes in the cigarette lighter that's in that cupboard uh, it's a 100 watt inverter that's a 45 watt TV, flat screen LED TV so it's only using half of the power there is a fan on the inverter that whirls away but once it's in that cupboard and you shut it and then you turn the TV up you, can, you don't hear it um, but yeah I'll make, I'll make lots more videos and uh, it'll keep me occupied as well as hopefully entertaining entertaining you but if you've got any questions just put them in the comments and uh, if I can answer it I will do and if I don't if I don't know I'll look it up and find out the answer uh, but I'll uh, I'll certainly help anybody out if, if somebody has a you know a problem or they want to do anything want to know anything about having a motor on if you haven't got one you're thinking of getting one um, the main issue you've got to remember is my mine is 22 foot long so parking is the main issue if you go into any city or town you'll never park in a city or a town we were very lucky in Edinburgh well that's what I was talking about Edinburgh that was it, it was, it, so we spent the day in Edinburgh we wouldn't park up, I'm glad it came to me then uh, we went out to out the outskirts of Edinburgh so we're heading back towards the Lake District where we live uh, so what we do, we're heading out of Edinburgh about 20 mile out of Edinburgh, country lane and I passed a, a church, a village hall and a village hall car park I thought, oh, we'll pop in, we'll have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. And there was three camper vans there. Uh, there was a van that people were stopping in, two campers, and then obviously I parked there. So we stayed there all night. And we went from there to a place called Iron Bridge Pub, uh, near Gretna Green, I think it is. And then England were playing in the World Cup. So the deal is you park there, you have a few beers in the pub, and you're fine, or a meal or whatever, and you can park up. And I asked them, I said, I, I'm not a member of Brit Stops, although I am thinking of it. But they said, oh, I'm not bothered. He said, just, just park up. As long as you have a few pints or something to eat, we're not bothered. So, and that's what I did. And it, that was a great car park. There was a guy from, from France there, and uh, he was on his own. Oh, no, my wife stayed in the van, his wife stayed in his van. So me and him, I, he was the first person I spoke to, say, are we all right parking here? And he said, yeah, no problem. So we actually sat together in the pub watched the World Cup and uh, I think I had a few too many. I, I sort of came back to the van and I, I had it in my mind that I would walk in and I loved you want a cup of coffee and I opened the door and I sort of fell in so she knew I'd had too many. Uh, but uh, yeah and then from there obviously we, we drove. So we did a triangle. The lakes to Loch Lomond, across to Edinburgh and then back down. It's a big triangle from where we live. Uh, and we're going to try that triangle down south so we're going to go down south uh, when we get the chance. Uh, and we'll go from the lakes where we live, probably the east coast, and then across to the west coast, and then, you know, we'll come back here. Um, so, that's the plan. So, anyway, I'll try and make some more videos. I'll, uh, I'll spend a bit of time editing this one, to give me something to do. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you soon. I'll enjoy my coffee. My I Love Pound Shop Camping Cup. I bought these because they were lightweight. Anyway, see you soon.